From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your top stories at this hour. Lawmakers are getting ready for a final vote on Florida's so-called anti-riot bill in the coming days. HB1 now only needs the Senate's approval to reach the governor's desk. The bill allows police to challenge their budgets, opens communities to liability for poor riot control, and creates or strengthens penalties against violent protesters. Opponents worry it's written too broadly and will suppress First Amendment rights. A bill that would ban transgender women from competing in school sports now has House approval. It was mostly along party lines, 77 to 40. This puts the bill in the Senate now, one step away from the governor's desk. A less intense Senate measure allowing trans women to compete if they have low enough testosterone has also been making progress, though it was recently postponed in its final committee. The Disney News making headlines tonight. The theme park is making a push for inclusion in all of its experiences, including how employees show up to work. Cast members can now dress for better cultural expression and individuality. And the new policy allows for or gender inclusive uh, hairstyles, jewelry, differing nail styles, varying costume choices, and appropriate visible tattoos. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. How you doing, everybody? Skies are mostly clear. Another very warm and very nice day on Wednesday and Thursday. I look for more of the same, although by Friday morning, we actually are going to have a front coming this way. At this point in time, waking up to mostly sunny and mild conditions on Thursday, the afternoon, maybe a few isolated showers across our northern counties, but I think the better chances will be early on Friday. Still coverage, maybe only 10, 20 percent and most of that north of I-4. Then not a bad forecast stretch. A little drier air rolls in late on Thursday night into Friday for our northern counties. Other than that, our rain chances rise pretty significantly the early part of next week. As for temperatures, we stay on the warm side, waking up temperatures 60s and low 70s, warming up to near 90 inland, upper 70s to low 80s closer to the beach, and then morning lows on Friday morning, if you want to call this low, in the lower 70s with highs back up into the upper 80s. And then look at that cool down next week. That isn't because of a cold front. That's clouds and rain that I think will be coming this way by the early part of next week. Until then, a few showers on Friday. The weekend really not looking all that bad. Maybe some rain late Sunday, but a much better chance early next week.